The finale of The Voice Season 3 is here, titled The Instant White Hot Wild, where the epic finale knows how to make us want Season 4 right now. In this episode, we see an epic fight between everyone. Honestly, that's the whole episode. It was just awesome. The episode begins with Ryan, who we last saw in Episode 1, after Bushel was not interested in being a father figure. Similar to Homelander, Ryan wants a family. He wants a father figure. The reason that he used Aunt Grace is because as a kid, the only thing he wants is a family. The only real family in his life is Homelander. So how did he find Ryan? If you remember in the last episode, Victoria asked for the help of Homelander. After providing details on Ryan's location, this was a paper that she gave him. However, Victoria wants something in return, and we get to see what that is at the end of the episode. Homelander sends a deep to eliminate the vice president, allowing Victoria to be the next choice. This nicely set up the next season, and going from the comics, we have a lot of theories on what they can do. Now, the theme of this episode is the actions of our fathers, and the pain or the strength that they give us. We see this in Homelander wanting to be a father and wanting a father. A soldier boy does not want to hurt his son, However, we get to see how this changed, but how he then caused pain to Homelander. M.M. and the consequences of his action as a father, Huey talking about his father, and Soldier Boy as well when he talks about his father as well. This is seen in this episode, this is a motif about how the actions of our father causes some pain or suffering, or it make us better like we see in Huey. This is the reason that Homelander goes to find Ryan, so he can meet his grandfather and become a family. 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 However, this backfires as well. Ryan starts to understand the word of Homelander. As a kid, we create stories that we see Ryan do. He feels that it was his fault. However, Homelander is playing that accidents happen, and by the end of the episode, it seems that it's not an accident, the things that he's going to do now. Of course, if you think about Homelander, you can expect that he's using Ryan to impress his dad. But what happens in the end, he understands that he has to be there for his son. Ryan accepts the words of Homelander, and by the end of the episode, he also accepts his actions. Moving to the consequences of the Instagram Live, where Homeland reveals details about what happened with Supersonic, as well as Queen Maeve. We get to see how his fans will react about this and who will be there for him, no matter what he says or does. So after Homelander captured Queen Maeve, Starlight supporters got the Attorney General to provide a search warrant. However, the Deep and Ashley have another plan in store, and this is to move Queen Maeve. But as we can see, she's not gonna allow this to happen and she's able to escape. We get to see here how Queen Maeve wants to escape everything and this is a metaphor for the character and how she's gonna escape her prison as we can see here. Of course, after the twist ending of the last episode where it's revealed that Soldier Boy is Homelander's father, we all want to know what is gonna happen next. Will he hurt his son? Will he stop him? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the episode was awesome. I will go ahead and talk about that in a moment. So the plan that they have is to use the gas that Frenchie discovered in the last episode and have it stored for now in a Wish Starlight perfume. However, the plan changes when Queen Maeve throws this away. Again, we get to see how M.N. feels about the things that happened in the last episode when he co his the stepfather. Of course, he deserved it going from that ending. Moving to Bot Tower where a lot of things are happening. They notify that Queen Maeve escaped, and as we get to see, she's going to be in the end of the fight. Black Nora walks in with the imagination of the Deaver. This was so hilarious. And it says he wants to help Homelander uh, with a bro hug. However, I feel this was not the right thing to do, going from what happens with Homelander. In the gas station, with an advertisement for A-Train, we get to see how Butcher cares about Huey, and he punched him. That way, he doesn't use a B-24. But how Huey will get back? Well, Annie to the rescue. Now, talking about A-Train, we have another conversation about him and his brother, who after the events of the last episode, we get to see how he's not able to walk, but how things have changed for A-Train. He's now able to run, and he's gonna get everything back. We get another motif about the family and the things we do for them, in this case, with A-Train. However, his brother is not going to be there for him anymore. He really wants to know what happened with Blue Hawk. It's going to be really interesting to see how he's gonna feel in the next season. That broken brother relationship is something they set up here. We also get to see how Annie cares about Huey, 
and she goes to get him. The relationship, of course, is not where it's supposed to be, but we get to see a nice conversation throughout the drive. Now, another reason that Butcher did not tell Huey about the B-24 is that he knows that if he told him this, Huey will stop him from taking it. This is just my theory. There are two ways I saw this moment. The interesting about this, again, is the father motif, and Huey talks about his father as well. This was a nice thing, when he discovered that strength comes from just being there. He apologized to Annie, but the conversation was so nice, and I'm excited to see their relationship in the next season. Now, the plan starts to come together. This is when Quib, Maeve, and Annie talk about what happened and how she was able to escape, and the episode was amazing. It explored the characters in another way, and how they feel about things. So what's happening right now is that Soldier Boy is going to go to Bot Tower, and this is where Homelander is. However, Huey gets a twist of this season, <laughs> where Homelander is Soldier Boy's son. And everyone was shocked about this. All of them want to save the people working in Bot, because they don't know if Homelander and Soldier Boy are gonna hug or they're gonna fight. We get to see the answer of this. Cutting to Soldier Boy and Butcher, they have a conversation where they talk about fathers and the sins of our fathers. We get to see how our fathers affect our life. Either love or pain will affect our life, as you can see here. Also, Butcher not answering the phone, he's not gonna know that Homelander has Ryan. If he knew this, Butcher would have changed his plan, like saying, hey, let's just not go to a tower. Now, Soldier Boy talks about wanting a son to do it differently. However, the son that he has, he sees as weak, as we get to see in a moment. The Butcher gets information on why he should hurt Homelander. Now, the unexpected twist of the season is where Homelander doesn't want Black Noir to kill Soldier Boy. Black Noir knew about Homelander being the son of, of Soldier Boy, but Homelander doesn't know the pain that Black Noir went through. Homelander is always putting his needs first, as he's a baby boy that starts crying every moment that he doesn't get what he wants in life, so he has to hurt others. This pain? makes Homelander kill Black Noir. If you remember, they have a relationship when he joined the Seven, if you watch the animated show. The question is, why did not he tell Homelander? Well, he knew that Soldier Boy was a bad person and that he caused a lot of pain in every member of Payback. Similar to how he dies here is how he dies in the comics. This was such a sad part of the episode, and hey, it had me in tears. The way his imagination says they're proud of him. That scene was so sad, and hey, I have to say that they have no right making it this way. <laughs> now, the last 30 minutes of the episode, Starlight is pissed. They want to stop Soldier Boy from going to Bot Tower. Also, the way Frenchie stands against Butcher was hilarious. Never come at me again, I am done. We all you deserve me. paid vacation days and a dental plan. We, 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 we heard you. <laughs> he won dental plan and vacation days. Hey, it's true. Now, Quill May betrays them by throwing the gas out of the window. Quill May, of course, wants to stop Homelander and escape everything. And this is when Homelander sends a deep to hurt the BP and send him on this mission. Another twist is Ashley having a wig because of the stress, showing the pain of the character that she went through this season. They teased this a lot this season when she was grabbing her hair. In the last part of the episode, Frenchie wants to build the gas, while the others try to stop Homelander and Soldier Boy. Homelander stays to idolize his father, and we finally get that real conversation between the characters. He tries to convince Soldier Boy to be together, to be a family, even introducing Ryan to Soldier Boy. However, Soldier Boy rejects Homelander. This broke Homelander and Queen May's face says it all. Also, Butcher shoots Soldier Boy. Was this a mistake? Will Butcher pay for this? The twist that happened was so unexpected. After all, the whole season has been to kill Homelander just to stop Soldier Boy at the end. And it was like, wait, what? But of course, he made a promise to Becca to protect Ryan. Now, Soldier Boy is pissed. Homelander is pissed. And Queen May is also pissed. Everyone is mad and the fight during this part of the episode was great. And during all of this, Frenchie crazy gas, while Huey evacuates everyone. It also, Maniac plays while Kimiko hurts everyone in the in Bot Tower. She was such a badass, embracing who she is. Queen May fights with Homelander, showing how powerful she is. By doing this, he removes her eye. This was so sad, but there's a lot of gore in this episode, but so many awesome moments as well. So how does everything end? Well, everyone is hurt. Now the moment of strength is shown when Huey doesn't take the B-24, and instead of getting powerful, he created a moment where Starlight gets powerful, and he's able to hurt Soldier Boy, saying once and for all that she's one of the real heroes in this show. I also enjoy what M.M. says, also how he was the one that stopped Soldier Boy with the gas. 
Queen Mei decides to be a hero, running towards Soulby Boy, saving everyone, but as well, not having any powers. You know, this show is so great. Doing this, this creates an explosion, hurting Queen Maeve. We know that she's not dead as we get to see what happens at the end of the episode. And Ryan decides to go with his father. He is his hero now. Homelander is pissed about everything. And the Homelander that we're going to see in season four is crazy. I cannot wait for that. Ryan is no more. Little Homelander is here. Butcher taking B24 also hurt himself. And he's taken to the hospital. Queen Maeve is said that she's dead in the public eye, however we know that she's alive. Leaving everything behind and wanting a normal life, Butcher is set to die and he has around 18 months to live, so let's see how this is going to play it out in the next season. MM being a real father explains to his daughter the trauma that his family endured. This added so much to the character of MM. Ashley decided to remove the file of Queen Maeve, showing the conversation between her and Starlight that will happen earlier in the season. Now, what happens is that Soulby Boy is taken away, added to a gas compartment. Of course, the question is, will he be back? I have no doubt that he will be back. Doing this, the thief has a heartbreak, and we get to see his wife getting a book as well. So let's see what's going to happen with the thief next season. In the end, Starlight is no more. She's now Annie. She's not a member of the boys. Doing this, Victoria is the vice president of the U.S., and the boys are going to go after her. This was set up nicely. In the comics, Victoria is the president of the U.S., but is named Victor, a new man. And Homelander goes to the White House with all the superheroes. So let's see if they do this. At the end of the episode, Homelander arrives at the rally to see everyone there. And he introduces his son when a Starlight supporter throws something at Ryan. Homelander then kills him and everyone will watch. But one of the supporters, he starts to cheer because, yeah, Homelander killed the guy. This is just wow. Allowing Homelander to do anything he wants now including killing people. He now can do anything in his power and no one is going to stop him. What I believe is going to happen next is that Robert Singer may get into an accident allowing Victoria to become president like in the comics. She may even select Homelander as vice president. Whatever happens next we know that they're building to the events in the White House that happened in the comics. Throughout this Ryan watches accepting his true nature. There's a lot of things set up and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. This was such an incredible season and the show continues to get better and better. This season was awesome and I cannot wait for season 4. What are your thoughts? Leave in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from BM Premiere and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye one.